this video I'm going to teach you how to create realistic looking horns and a fantasy face in charcoal pencils. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Julieta and I'm a portrait artist for those of you that are here for the first time. And for those of you that are back, welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to show you something different, something that is done in um, charcoal pencils, more specifically charcoal powder. And I will show you how to create it as well. What I do here, since this is right now, since it's March at this moment, it's airy season. So I decided to do a new series where we're going to do every single sign of the zodiac, zodiac sign, and we're going to do them with charcoal, charcoal um, powder, pencils, as well as a little bit of mixed media as far as like watercolors we're going to do also uh, pastel so it's going to be really really fun so stay tuned and I'll see you later I'm going to try not to do it on top of the drawing because it's you know it may fall there and we don't want that to happen and let's see what happens if we do this can we see that can you see that guys Let's try to create an even level. So this is just using tissue very lightly. We're not pressing too hard. And I would always recommend start with a small amount. Don't put too much, okay? Start with a small amount and tap it very lightly on your, um, on your charcoal powder and then just apply. I'm going to make it a little darker on the sides and not the center of the horn and you're going to see why. I will tell you why in a second. Isn't charcoal beautiful? I mean seriously, it's like probably one of my favorite, it must be my favorite medium to work with. It's really cool. It's uh, get ready to get dirty, that's the only thing I have to say, but if you're not afraid of getting dirty, it's awesome. Okay. There we go. So we have one horn ready to go. What are we going to do next? Next, we're going to start like going and getting with, you know, using smaller and smaller tools. The next one we're going to use is going to be a flat brush. Of course, this has to be dry. And we're going to go back to our charcoal powder and we will start outlining the horn like this. Just follow the curvature like this. By the way, when I did the, um, the horns and everything, I kind of did it freehanded, but it really helps to have a ruler that will tell you, you know, it will indicate that, you know, how far you can go so you don't go way beyond the, the lines you're supposed to keep yourself into to have a symmetrical result. So it's important that you do that first. Okay. The goal today, I think, is going to be basically, I'll teach you how to do one of the horns and how to make it look um, realistic and stuff. And this is a very fantasy-like drawing, but at the same time, I like to have some of the human ingredient to it. And I thought about it. I'm like, why don't we do a yeah, Zodiac series? That would be cool. Because I love everything that has to do with that. <laughs> you know, some people might be like, oh, no, I don't believe in this. Or, you know, believe it or not. It's always fun anyway. Okay. So now we will go on the other side right here. And I kind of lost some of this. But this, this horn goes all the way here. So I'm going to make sure that we actually get to see that. And then if you run out of um, if you run out of charcoal powder, just create a little bit more. That's all. I just happen to do a lot of it. And you want this to look 3D. You know, right now we're just getting started, so we're not really going to see a lot of 3D effect. Um, but that's basically the idea here. I'm going to go very slowly here because it's a different type of angle. I don't want to get. I don't want to get too far. I don't want to go out, out of the outline. 
And then you, once you get to this part, you can do all sorts of things. It's just that's such a magical medium to work with. I follow a lot of artists on Instagram that are like just magicians with charcoal powders. Just the things they do are unbelievable. So speaking of 3D effect, let's do this. Because we're seeing this from, you know, like we're in front of this. Let's, let's imagine this is a real thing. So here we're going to see, since the horn is a 3D effect, we're going to see a lot darker here because it's kind of like makes a curvature and has like depth to it. Let's see if I can explain myself with what I'm doing right here. So do you get the effect that I'm trying to achieve here? So it gets a little bit of like, this is the part that is on the inside and this is the part that is on the front. So here, this is not a flat thing. It's a 3D object, 3D um, paper to separate myself, with, but that's okay. So you know that horns, you know, like rams have horns that have like um, ridges and just like texture going like that. So now we're going to do now, um, Jan Mendez, thank you for joining us. So we're going to do, and it's kind of like curved. This is our mono zero eraser right here. This is a tool that you're going to see me using a lot and you probably see me using a lot. It's a wonderful tool, I gotta say. And here, this is where I'm gonna show you what I, what I meant before by this part being 3D, can we see that? As a matter of fact, I will make it even more obvious by applying a little bit of charcoal pencil. The brand of this pencil is called uh, Generals. It's, for me personally, my favorite brand. I think it's wonderful. Uh, it's divided into um, soft, medium, and hard. So th those are different like intensities and levels of softness, I believe. I don't know if you will call it that. Can you see what I'm doing here? Like, hold on, this light is very kind of weird. I wonder if by lighting it that way it's gonna work. I don't know, it's kind of strange.
friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you were able to learn something. And if you have any comments, any requests or any questions, please leave them down below and consider subscribing to this channel if you like this video and any tips that you may have are going to help me improve as an artist as well as um, sharing with you whatever it is that you find useful in order for you to become an amazing artist. So thank you very, very much for watching and don't forget to check out my website to grab your free tutorial on how to draw a realistic looking face. So thank you very much for being here and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye now.